All right, here we are playing a heavily text edited stage in Mega Man Maker by Snowflakes, and yeah, look at this. Looks hella cool. <laughs> what else can I say? Looks so freaking cool. And yeah, I actually played through this level earlier this morning. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to go back and play it again and you know showcase it to you guys. Mainly I'm doing it because Snowflakes uh, commented on my, one of my videos there earlier, so... Yeah, I just wanted to showcase some more text editing here. As I said, I played this stage early in the morning, it was off camera, I just played it for the heck of it. I saw the level by Flakes and, you know, I know that he makes these text edited levels, so... Naturally I just jumped into it. And at the first time when I played this, it actually had a score of negative 1 in the newest queue there. Um, naturally I said... Screw that shit, <laughs> and I uploaded the level <laughs> before I even played through it. Um, I just assumed that it would be good. That's perhaps might sound a little, bit, a little bit irresponsible, but I don't really care. <laughs> Either way, this stage, as you can see, it's really crazy to say the least. Like, yeah, everything is black and white, enemies are not visible, and they are stationary, even. And yeah. They behave weirdly. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked. Stop it. And I want that. I don't really think I'll be dying here. Like through this level. Admittedly, I died like two or three times. Yeah, look at that. Uh, admittedly, I died about two or three times on my first playthrough due to one upcoming part. And I'll point it out once we get there. Like. These here are pretty ticky, ticky, tricky to dodge, but it's nothing too hard. But yeah, there is basically this one point up ahead where I jump down a few pits to try and find my way through a labyrinth, if you will. But yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll bring that up again once we get there. Alright. Uh, there we go. Yeah, this point here. Now it's where it starts getting a little bit crazier. Yeah, this is so effing cool. You... Yeah, let's just go down here. Let's do it the way we're supposed to do it. I believe you can just go to the right here now and we'll progress at once. But yeah, see, if you don't... If you don't know that and you fall down, you'll notice the main gimmick here. The stage keeps repeating. Hence the, you know, me dying part up ahead where I just tried out pits. <laughs> So yeah, it introduces it very well here. Oh my goodness. And yeah, here, this part here, you actually have to destroy the bomb and hug to the right. And yeah, this is the room we were in earlier. If you don't do that, you'll fall down and you have to go, you know, yeah, you have to do it again, basically. Oh yeah, this here, nothing too hard. Let's just get on through. Oof. And yeah, here. Um, basically, you'll look back around. If you don't do the upcoming section properly, you will actually just pop back in through here. So yeah. I look back through this room many times. And you know, as I said, I died a few times too. And I did not really know what to do there, but yeah. Since I've already played it, this won't be so bad this time around. I hope. Unless I start failing up ahead. <laughs> because, truth to be told, there are... A few tricky ups up here. Just a, just a tad bit tricky though. Yeah, we just shoot this guy here. Yeah, we have a greater bullet barrage here. And yeah, this jump in particular also is a little bit tricksy. Oh my god. There we go, that's our timing window. Nice. And yeah, see here, I kept going to the right here, and if you do, you'll go down to the room that you're right. Uh, maybe I should just showcase it. Can we... Yeah, we can actually just backtrack through here. But yeah, see, that's the room we were in earlier, so yeah. What you gotta do is basically just fall down here, and it will stop repeating. And yeah, <laughs> this is also kind of funny because on my... <laughs> on, earlier this morning when I played this, like... I didn't want to enter the boss door. I wanted to see if there was something to the left here. And I thought that shadow down there was a, you know, was ground tile. So I just 
took the plush and died. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was really funny. I trolled myself, basically. I should have known that was the pit shadow there. That was just really stupid on my behalf. Yeah, and here we have the boss. <laughs> the bad apples, if you will. Okay, yeah, I know. My yokes aren't my strong side, <laughs> you know? <laughs> As if you couldn't tell. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I might die here. Whoa, how the hell did I actually manage to dodge that? You gotta give me some props there. <laughs> you just gotta. But yeah, I did not die here on my blind playthrough uh, either. Now I'm pretty confident I won't die now that it is just Shadow Man here. Whoa! Dude, that was sloppy of me. Okay, well, actually, he might still get me. Let me just shut up and focus here. Ooh, nice. Now he definitely got it. Unless he stones me. Which he didn't. But yeah. Eight and a half minutes. Not bad, not bad. There's actually that other path, too. I already went through that as well. Like, we went through the shell path. If you jump down, you get another type of path with shot souls, I believe it was down there. there. There are a few different rooms, like nothing nothing too crazy there, but yeah. I just wanted to do this quick little uh, video here, you know, to showcase this level. And yeah, like, just to showcase like the, the, how, how crazy, how crazy you can get with text editing. It's so... Yeah, it's just a, it's a, <laughs> it's art. I almost want to say it's art. Like, it looks, first of all, it looks cool and abstract. I don't know <laughs> how to describe it. It just looks awesome. Like, you get new ways of gameplay mechanics and you can make all kinds of trippy shit. And like, I would love to see more troll stages built within the text editor there. Like. Make the make people fall through ho floors. Make yeah, I I don't know. Just make whatever like crazy shit. <laughs> just the craziest, insane bad shit, crazy stuff. Would it would be so much fun to play? Like seriously, seriously. But yeah, uh, Snowflakes popped in on my channel and said he worked on some program there, so that perhaps at some point in the future, us regular. Us regular plebs <laughs> might be able to text edit one day. <laughs> yeah, Snowflakes right now is just doing it in the freaking... Yeah, in the in the notepad, I guess. I guess he's just opening the notepad on the computer and like sits there and rewrites code or something. I, I tried a little bit myself, but I can't wrap my head around it. I don't have the patience. But yeah, like, props to Snowflakes for, um, for learning this. He's a master at it, like... Probably one of the best, I would have to say. I haven't seen anyone standing out as much as him yet, but yeah. If you guys wanna check this level out yourself, you know, the yeah, the, the, the ID is right here. Like, go ahead and play it and, you know, give this man a few more thumbs up. And check out check out some of his other videos. His, his other videos, his other stages here. Like, many of these, if not all perhaps, are text edited. I know, I know Minecraft here. Minecraft man <laughs> is text edited. This is mainly a show and tell kind of stage, I guess though. It's really it's really cool though. I think I watched it over on Van Cosito's channel there. Um But yeah, either way, really cool stuff. This outro has been long enough. Uh, several minutes it's bleh, several minutes at this point. So yeah, I'll just cut it off here. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.